Hey guys, we're in the for the one. I'm coming back at you. I know I said I was going to try to let these corals go until Saturday or until Magic Roller Day. But look, guys. You still see coils. But honey, this thick hair has filled out. So I'm going to go ahead and start my shampoo, my deep condition, and get my hair prepped. And I'll be right back with you guys for a low-key protective style. Okay, stay tuned. sure I get that deep conditioning in. I'm going to be doing a okay so let's see what we got under here. I do have some water, warm water in my spray bottle because I know I'm going to have to respray my hair and if you guys can see this you know growth has definitely taken place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the LCO method and with the LCO method my I already did my leave-in my deep conditioner and for my cream I'm going to be using my frizz taming cream by Ozzy as well I'm going to be using my sealant which is the gel and then I'm going to be sealing it in with my little Shea Bay oil you know how I feel about my Shea Bay oil. So, I'm going to go ahead, because my hair is, I had to take a break. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and respray my hair just to dampen it. Whew. Hair has definitely grown, okay? Hair is damp. For sure. I'm going to go ahead first and go in with the Miracle Curls Frizz Taming Cream with Coconut and Australia Jehova Oil, sulfate free. Okay, and I'll have a picture of the products at the end of the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my hair, work it in with my fingers, and then I'll work it in with my dimming brush as well, comb through it with my wild two comb and then I'll add my gel. Whew. You can really see I'm starting to form on this side. 
I do a little shake. You can see it in the back. So I'm going to let it air dry a little bit once I finish applying it so that I can show you guys that the whiteness is the cream, the, an the anti-frizz cream mixing with the gel. you have something in between your fingers, get that too. Sorry. A little distracted. And I will not be using a bar pen on here, so I'll just go ahead. With my rat tail comb. You know, I don't know nothing about edges. So I'll just pull that back. Make sure that's laid down. Make sure this is laid down. As you can see, this just really helps my curls. Really helps define my curls. So this is like a very good product. And with me putting that frizz cream in there, it should just lay the way it's laying in. I shouldn't get that much frizz. And I don't stretch out my hair. Um, my hair is medium length. It's not long. Uh, the back of my hair comes to my shoulder. And like the front of my hair, it comes down to about right there. So, so I don't stretch out my hair until at night. Now at night, I do try to put it up in mini pineapples. Or... I'll try to do like the banding method if I can. I used to couldn't do the banding method, but now since I've truly learned how to do the banding method, then I'll do it. I always have this thing to be soaking wet. This is that t-shirt turban thing. take these out. God, I even had them in. And this is my shake. These are my curls. These are my curls in the back. And now it is the waiting game. And if I see some hair, like if I see like right here where the curls are not defined, I'll go through and just coil and they'll just pop right up. Just go through, coil them a little bit. that's it and I have to air dry and then I will come back to you guys and show you the finished product and that's without the product showing and by the time I come back my hair should be at least 90 to 95% dry I am uh, low porosity so my roots 
tend to be the last thing that dries. So I will not come back waiting on my roots to dry. I'll come back and show you guys when my hair is starting to dry. Because if we wait on my roots, then I won't be back till tomorrow probably. Alright guys, see you in a minute.